let's go. Welcome to the 15th episode of a retro let's play of Wing Commander 1 for the PC where we last left off. It was this guy. It was Knight and I were trying to transport a Draymond back home with supplies and we got picked off by some Grothas. We made it back alive, but the transport did not. We got yelled at, but let's go ahead and see what Shot Glass has to say about it. Renegade, how's it going? He's so happy. Look at those green eyes. Heard you had to take out some Grotha trying to bring that Draymond in. Glad to see you made it back into peace. Those babies are tough, but I hear the Jalthy are even tougher. One of those six shooters on your tail, you can kiss it goodbye. How to, give us a tip on how we kill them. But I bet if you get low and behind a Jalthy, you'll toast it. All right. She's got no rear visibility and big old bullseye exhaust. Bad design no matter how many guns she's got up front. Just jam a missile up those rear pipes and boom, no more kitty. All right. So I think we kind of fell upon that last episode. We hit a missile and it blew up really quick. We we're a little surprised about that. But let's go ahead and see what Knight has to say. Hey, Renegade, have a seat. I heard some talk lately that burns me up. Someone's saying I'm unsafe to fly with and that I'm a cat lover. Well, I won't stand for that kind of slander. It's not true. I may not be as high-flying as Hunter, but I get the job done in one piece. But hey, you're not the guy to complain to after all. We've flown together now. You know you can count on me. It's just a matter of trust. We trust you, man. Thanks for the shoulder, Renegade. No problem anytime. <laughs> Let's go ahead and talk to Spirit here and see what she has to say. Join me, Renegade. Night is poor company, and I feel the need to talk. She's just slandering him in front of him. Not slandering, but... I've been studying the history and progress of the war, and I fear things do not go well for us. We're in grave danger and must be ever diligent, ever alert. We must fight as if there are no tomorrow, for in truth, that is the case. Every day the Kilrathi bring up more troops. They penetrate deeper into the human space each time we fly. The future of humanity rests with us. A heavy burden, but one we must bear. For if we don't, who will? Spirit is very phil philosophical, to say the least. All right, let's go ahead and save this game as uh, Epic Fail 9X. We're going to uh, save this as Drayman Gone. All right, that is saved. Let us go to the next mission and see what we got here. Mission briefing, Port Headland. I think it's our second mission here. Five minutes in the briefing. Next, Psy Wing, Psy G Wing, Renegade Knight. Yes, sir. Today's a four-point patrol nav route. A route. Display Zai Z. That's like Gn from uh, Star Citizen. You'll pass through each nav point, checking for enemy activity. There's a field of what looks like asteroids around Nav 2. Nice. It says mines. And another at Nav 4. Now remember, you ran into heavy fighters last time. And you can expect more of the same this time out. In fact, intelligence reports that enemy traffic is heavier than ever. And our people on McLaren think that they spotted a new capital ship class. They're, we're calling it Frouthy. If you can see it, observe it as closely as you can. Any questions? Sir, if we spot this frailty, should we engage? There's no need for heroics. Just come back and tell us about it. All right, then. I'll, go f I'll expect a full report when you get back. If we see it, we're taking it down. <laughs> Gotta survive, though. Let's go ahead and get in the cockpit mode here. And let's do this. So a little, uh... Looking at those nav points, I'm a little concerned that we're going into an asteroid field and a minefield, but we're just going to have to uh, do our best here. Enemy ahead. What do we got? Three Drowthies. Nice. We got these guys. Attack my target. Let's go ahead and sp speed up here. These are actually my favorite guys to kill. They just seem the easiest to kill. And also the most memorable. Drowthies. Oh yeah. Okay, we're, we're trying to help you here, buddy. Man, these things are no ma match for these mass drivers. Nice and easy. Give him some mass. I think Knight's getting shot up here. Okay, here we go. Who's next? Lock on. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Come on, man. Knight is down. <laughs> we took him out. 
this game is uh is awesome it, to our wingman. All right, nav two. Whoa, those are mines. Those are mines. And we just ran into some. Uh, we're getting destroyed here. How do we? Let's slow down here. Man, we are literally just. We're in a minefield. Shield generator hit. How do we get out of here in one piece? All right, so there's mines all over the place. And we're not even going that fast. Careful. Okay, uh, I think we're through it. Should we... Okay, we're okay. Is our autopilot ready? No, that light's not on there. Our dashboard is blown up. Whoa, here we go. There's that new ship. Look at it. Thing's huge. So many pixels. Wow, what do we got here? Target. Bratha. What's that big fella? We have all of our missiles, so we should uh, probably be using them right about now. Weapon destroyed. We lost a gun here. Look at that thing. At least we landed that shot on there. Finish him off. Come on, one more. Lock on. No! That should destroy him. What is going on? Alright, we're out. Oh god, that's three missions in a row. We've bailed on three missions in a row, and we lost night. The wheels are quickly falling off our playthrough here. Oh man. How are we going to get out of this one? They're going to make us sit on this, uh, this, this, uh, this funeral empty screen again. And one of our Terran confederations, sadly, we must now say goodbye to Captain Joseph Kumalo. Despite the pressures of the war we fight, Captain Kumalo was always unaffected by the madness around him. He remained an island of stability for us in a sea of insanity. Knight, we barely knew you. Don't worry, Knight, we'll finish the job for you. How do all of our <laughs> our wingmen manage to die on our watch? I wonder if we're ever, like, if uh, Hunter is, like, exponentially better than Knight. Or if it really just depends on how much support we provide them. Either way, they're going to let us reflect on this <laughs> for a little bit. They're, uh... I think that's the interesting part about this game is that, you know, death is a part of it. And they don't, like... You, I guess you could try to play this, this storyline perfect, but I don't imagine it's as, as fun. I mean, now when we look at the chalkboard, the kill board, there's going to be two names scratched out. Or what does it say? MIA or KIA? I just want to hear what the colonel's going to say to us. I wonder if you can get demoted in this. I'm not sure. Anyways, that is two wingmen down. Hopefully we don't lose any more. We'll be flying by ourselves. That was just a simple jump mission. But here's the thing, though. Like, we took... He lost to a Drouthy, right? We took two of them out. All right, they're 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 driving home the death point for us here. Sure enough, the, the range of the Sound Blaster 16. All right, what do we got here? <sighs> Colonel Halcyon's office. Geeson, come in. I need to speak with you. Yes, sir. The ship you bailed out out of cost over a hundred million credits. Oh, I missed that. In the weeks, something. We've been messing around. You have no choice to eject, then do it. But don't let me catch you bailing out a ship you could have flown home. I understand, Colonel. I'll keep it in mind. That's all, First Lieutenant. Dismissed. 
we got to clean it up here. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of a retro Let's Play Wing Commander 1. If you guys enjoyed this video, I encourage you guys to go click the like button. Truly appreciate your support. And also subscribe if you want to see what happens in the next episode. See you guys tomorrow. Later.